Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your personal reading. Nope, it's not a personal reading, it's a general reading. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, when I was meditating off camera for you, I got a bird's eye view, like an e excuse me, an eagle eye. So that means that someone could be keeping an eye on you, but they're far away from you, or vice versa. This is what you're doing. It's like somebody's far away, but they're still they still have their eye on you. They're watching you from a very very far distance um an eagle eye it's like they're, they're so an eagle eye most time the eagle is cluing in on its prey from far right so listen to what i'm saying cluing in on its prey from far so maybe somebody's trying to trying to figure out when to pounce when to you know strike from far or this is what you're doing let's see what, what the cards have to say um I would implore you to go and look up the process of how an eagle strikes or, you know, what, you can look up videos or you can read about how eagles strike. Maybe it'll, you know, resonate with you or give you some semblance in regards to your life. I don't know. Let's see what is going on for Sagittarius. Yeah, the magician. So somebody's thinking heavily about what to do, how to bring something into fruition, how to strike. This could be a good strike too. Um, you know, trying to uh, maybe come to you, talk to you, persuade you. The magician is a salesman. Maybe this is what you're doing. You're trying to sell something, sell yourself, put something out there. You, you're coming up with different ideas of how to implement. Maybe you're gonna implement something new in your business or implement something new in your life in regards to what what it is you do already with the magician here let's see what else yeah the two of wands trying to planning back to striking planning bird's eye view um two of wands somebody is definitely planning knee jerk opportunity and i think that's how eagles strike like that, that opportunity you know to to go when they see uh, their prey, you know, maybe at the most vulnerable state, out of their hole, out of their, you know, um, their home or out of some surrounding there. So um, with the two of wands there, it's like um, maybe um, somebody is planning when to reach out to you, when to come to you. This person was um, maybe comparing, comparing, contrasting also maybe themselves to you or you to someone else. It was like they were trying to measure up, you know, who was best or what is best. Was single life best? Was being committed best? This is what someone's doing or this is what they were doing. We do have a very powerful man here with the magician here. It is masculine energy. It could be a woman, but it is masculine energy. I don't know, you know, get in where you fit in. It's like somebody is planning. Um, with the two of wands, that's cardinal energy. When to do something first, when to strike first, you know, um, make something, make the first move back to knee jerk opportunity. So it's like somebody's going to come to you on a whim out of nowhere. Yeah, that could be use of sad. So maybe you're planning of how to come to somebody um, out of nowhere on a whim, um, just strike. You're going to plan your attack here, whether it be good or bad. Uh, with the uh, Knight of Wands here. Um, maybe even plan to charm somebody here because it's got words here, speech. And then you get the planning, the action. And then you've got uh, the charisma and the charm. Um, you've got the smile. You're going to disarm them with the smile here. It could be around Leo season. So this could be August. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. It could be in August 8th. Um, it's like... With these wands here coming back to back, it's like somebody's trying to plan something real fast or they're trying to do something real fast. How to come back to, how to reach out to, how to get somebody hooked, how to state somebody, you know, state your intentions. That's your energy too with the eight of wands. It's like somebody's trying to, you're trying to go back to or somebody's trying to come back to you or you're gonna plan your, 
your tack. The hermit card, I don't know, maybe you are definitely away from this person. And we talked about the eagle or the bird's eye view, or you'll know, keep an eye on somebody from a very far distance. There is separation. There is estrangement here. So it's like you're trying to do all of this maybe from afar with the eight of wands. You, maybe you could be traveling. You're going to go travel far. Maybe you're going to travel far and you're going to do something when you're traveling. You could be popping the question with the eight of wands. Here could be a secret, the hermit card. Uh, maybe you, you thought about this hard and long. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we have going on for Sagittarius? Yes, the nine of cups, maybe with a Piscean person, okay? Um, maybe you're going to pop the question, you're going to get married, or um, it's going to be a destination wedding, or something of that nature, or you're going to ask them to travel with you, or go with you, or do something with you, or be with you, or you want someone back, or you're going to ask them to come back, or you're going to ask, you're going to tell them that they are wish fulfillment, um, you want them in your life, yeah, four wands, you may even... Tell them that you want to move with them. Ten of Cups. You want a baby, house, dog, cat. Um, you want a difficult period to be over. You may be offering something. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely offering maybe a relationship, the revival of one. You're trying to get this person to fall in love with you. You're going to be very gentleman-like or lady-like. You're really trying to awaken something. Awaken something in them so that they can choose you, decide on you. Some of you could be... This is a person you already know with these two knights here. So it's like you're trying to get somebody to come back. What is the advice here for Sagittarius? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so family. Listen to your family. The Three of Wands with the Queen of Cups. Um, these here, this is my stringing somebody along for a very long time. So I don't know. This could be somebody stringing someone along for a very long time. Okay. Um, you know, promising them the world. Wow, as I say, the world, but the king of swords, but you really want to be a bachelor. You really have solo plans. You really want to, you're out for self. You you know, that concludes the message. <laughs> that is, that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. It's like somebody wants to get somebody back, get them to fall in love with them again and, you know, promise them the world, promise them that we're going to be in love, we'll get married, we'll have a baby, we're going to get a house, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And it's like this person could string a, this particular person along for a very long time and do none of this. No marriage ever happens. Maybe they put a ring on the finger, but there's no date set. Maybe they're always trying for a baby. No pregnancy ever happens. Yeah, boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Like, yeah, somebody has moved on and it's like the other person is trying to bring them back. Somebody received what they needed to move on. It's like somebody already knew that somebody was going to string them along. Can't make it up. Keys on a ring. Many options. String along unconventional I can't make it up if I wanted to I couldn't this is these are the two cards I get to my readers out there this is the two cards I get when somebody's stringing somebody along it's like it's just because they can do it forever they can do it forever you know and this could be you Sag it could be another person somebody is definitely stringing somebody along but somebody got what they needed to move on um, they already, you know, they got the writing on the wall there. Uh, I'll leave you with one of these cards. I don't know if it's you or somebody else. I pray it's not you. But um, beware because somebody will promise you the world. And it'll look like they'll give you the world. You chose to give love to the wrong person. Face it, then fix it. So... Maybe, again, we had that comparison back here. Somebody decided to maybe either be single, give love somewhere else, and now they're trying to bring somebody else back in by promising them the world, stringing them along, but they don't 
really mean it. They don't, they're not going to do any of this. Somebody needs to just face the music that they chose the wrong person. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. If uh, it, it um, resonates for you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. The number below. Get your own reading by going over to the website. Readings are on sale, 50% off. Use code 50OFF, 50 off at checkout. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Uh, thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you. Take care.